your home. Yeah, I guess so. I had a lot of fun tonight. What's this? It's the bill, Nate. The bill for what? For the date. Wait, the date? Wait, wait, the date? You don't expect to get all of this for free, do you? What do you mean, Carol? You want me to... You want me to pay for this date? The date? My courtesy during dinner. My patronizing head nod while you talked about yourself. This? All of it. You don't think you can just have all of that. Didn't you go out with me because you like me? No. And you said that you like me. I know me. what I've said, Nate. I've said it a hundred times. It's my sales pitch. I did have fun, Nate. Do you still want me to pay? Of course I do. Why don't you pay me? Because I'm a woman. So what's that supposed to mean? It means I'm exempt from payment. Well, not just by my being a woman, it's more because I'm an attractive woman. Well, yeah, but, uh, you're a pretty attractive guy, right? Are you telling me you don't find me attractive? No, you're an attractive enough guy, I guess. But you see, an attractive woman has certain benefits. Take our initial encounter, for instance. You walked up to me and said, nice night. That's a line. You go into a bar full of honeys. I bet that you would walk up to some hot Latina and say, What's your sign? I need to do nothing. Someone will buy my drinks. Someone will ask me to dance. Someone will undoubtedly ask me if they can give me a ride. And I need no pickup line. Because? But because I'm an attractive woman. Some might even say beautiful. Well, what if say I won't pay you? Do you want me to kiss you again? Ever? I'm just saying I could leave you high and dry. <laughs> High and dry? How so? Well, I could leave you without payment, and then where would you be? Are you serious? Look around, Nate. We are in a world full of guys. By my figures, four out of every ten men, married or single, over the age of eleven, are just waiting for some sign that you have broken my poor little heart and that I need to be comforted to just swoop in. All leaving me tonight would yield me is, um, four more paying customers. So act now while the offer still stands. Because if you ask me, it's a bargain. Well, what if I tell all these guys how much of a gold digger you are? Everybody knows Anna Nicole Smith is a gold digger, hun. But most men would ask her out, and she's <laughs> fat. Carol, do you mind if I ask you a question first? Sure. But the meter's still running. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? Yeah, what's your greatest fear? Why do you ask? Just indulge me. No. No? No. Why not? Because I don't feel like telling you. I bet that your greatest fear is that you're you're never gonna find that special someone. That even though you know you're beautiful, that four out of every ten guys want to be with you. That you'll never find the right guy. What on earth makes you think that? Because that's what everyone is afraid of. What's your point? The point is. Makes you so sure that I'm right. Because it's irrelevant? No. No, it's not. If you thought I was Mr. Right, then you'd give me like a buy one, give one free kid. And so apparently you don't think I am. What makes you so sure that I'm not your Prince Charming? It's not like I've made up my mind about you, Nate. It's just a girl's got to keep her options open. Parents hated each other when they first met. And one day something just uh, just made sense. And they fell in love. They've been married for sixty years. Okay.
You were so vain. How do you expect to find true love if you keep charging your dates for dinner in a movie? I don't even know if true love exists. And you never will. If you, if you keep charging, um... Fifty dollars? I am worth every cent. Well, how do you expect me to pay my bills if I got into a relationship with you? I mean, what do you, what do you want me to do? You want me to start living with my mother? No, that's not the answer. Well, I'm glad that you're finally seeing things my way. I would never date you if you lived with your mother. The um, costs do change, though, Nate. How so? Let me show you. Now, as you can see, the price stays the same until about the three month mark. And then I'll get antsy with just sitting around and running videos, and the uh, price will rise again. What's that? What's what? That. Oh, that's the wedding. The diamond is a high cost, and I'm worth it. Besides, I don't really want to marry a cheapskate. After that, however, the out-of-home cost really drops. It's almost an 80% decrease, in fact. And then the, uh, the children will start coming along. What? Here we go. Typical male response. What? The thought of a commitment scares you to death, doesn't it? No, death is a lot less scarier than <laughs> marriage. Why do you guys do this to yourself? What? You pursue women. You get the scent of blood in your nostrils, and the thrill of the hunt drives you to do some really romantic things. And then you get her. After that, it's all downhill. You hate her. You want her out of your face and out of your house, and only really come over when you're lonely and when you're and it's not even her that you want. You'll just take them because it's easier and comfortable. All of you guys are like that. I don't know why I just don't go after each other. Some of us do. Some of us do too, Nate. And why do you suppose that is? You're going to tell me. Yes. It's because that we know that our partner will want us around as much as we want her around. We know that she isn't secretly wishing that we would just shut up and leave her alone like you guys do. So why are you with the one? I want a family with a mommy. A daddy and seven children. What about a career? Well, we would have to make some sacrifices for the family. Okay. A photographer. For National Geographic. Have you thought about teaching photography at the local high school? No. You really should. You could raise a family that way. What do you want to do? Me? I want to be a dancer. I'd be happy with just four children. Am I too young for a vasectomy? Don't you like children? Other people's children. Don't you want a family? No, I'm 25. I'm a little too young. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, tell me what's so funny. You saying that 20, 20, 25 is too young to start thinking about a family. I'm 23. And that really freaks me out. That means I only have 17 more years. And that's it. No more babies. And everything I've got is starts hanging. City or country? Country. City. Cat or dog? Cat. Dog. Window open or air conditioning? Window open. AC. Theater or home video? Blockbuster night. Theater. Do you drink? I won't tolerate it. Smoking? Not around children. I watch football every Sunday. We will go to church as a family. Catholic? Protestant? How often will we own? Um... Make love? At least three times a week. <laughs> Do I, uh, do I need to tip you or something? No, that's okay. Okay. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Um, so, where do you want to go on our second date? Who said anything about a second date? Good night, Nate.